Now in a previous video, I outlined how the golden child was the child who was separated from the others, separated as being better, the standard the other kids had to reach. Perhaps they got more attention, perhaps they got more resources. Maybe there was a little less of the narcissistic abuse. However, it was still there. It's important to recognize, to remember, the golden child was not immune nor exempt from the parents' narcissistic tantrums and unkind humor. They also learned how precarious that position was. So it wouldn't be uncommon that if they couldn't hold on to that position by being constantly perfect, achieving, bringing in the praise for the parent, they held on to it by bullying their siblings, constantly telling on them, constantly pointing out their faults, their errors to the parent. Now as adults, that can change. Sometimes the golden child has enough insight, enough emotional depth, empathy. Perhaps they feel guilt over how they behaved when they were younger, feel guilt over how they were treated differently. They realise they were, in many ways, just as terrified, as abused, neglected as their siblings were. And as adults, the kids can band together, in those families, they band together as adults, they feel more connected, they support each other, they can even support each other against the toxic parent. In other cases, regardless of their age, they are still damaged children. On one hand, they believe they are worthless, useless, they are of no value unless they have a particular image, unless they can achieve a certain thing, unless they whatever. Due to that neglect, that conditional love, that narcissistic rage, that unkind humour from the parent, the one, the other hand, they also believe they are special, unique, entitled because of how the other children in the family were often compared unfavorably towards them. Now, they